Shalom, shalom. All right, brothers here from the Great Millstone Atlanta Church. All right, but we want to first start off by, by giving all the glory and praise unto to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, teacher we're wearing the Overseer's Tabernacle of David, started with Prophet Alvin Bivens, on down to the Apostle Elders. All right, shalom to the Hopefully Lit, that's giving their diligence, made their colleagues sure across four corners of the earth. Shalom to the angels of witness in this day. And shout out to the few sister I've watched you, sister that's just the truth in all sincerity. Okay, we come, we just coming to you with a lesson. Um, basically honoring thy youth, you know, staying solid on the um, foundation. Why these, why these days come, come, coming into the end, you know, staying grounded, you know, doing whatever it takes, man. Staying, staying humble, you know. You got it. I want me to get the precept for you. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna start off um the book of Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Chapter 4, verse 13, and it reads, Better is a poor and a wise child than a old and foolish king who will no more be admonished. All right, Baba Kashat, could you get that admonished in the, in the Hebrew, Baba Kashat? You know, um, just for uh, the mm -hmm. clarification's sake. All right, you know, just to be um, distinct and direct. But, um, you know, the scripture says, Better is a poor and a wise child all right you know and and what poor in this society we're all poor okay for, for the most part all of us are poor man all right but we're rich in spirit and, and it really said in a wise it says in a wise child the scripture goes into uh matter of fact Barbara Kishaw, what was that um wisdom is uh, money's defense yeah money's defense we're only Okay, it, yeah. the scripture says uh, money in, in, is a defense, okay, and wisdom is likewise a defense, okay, but it says with all that getting, make sure you get that wisdom, get that understanding, wisdom surpasses carnal, um, carnal loot and carnal gains, man, you know? because wisdom, the fear of the Lord, wisdom uh, bringeth forth a kingdom, man, as it is written, yeah. all right, and um, and, and to the contrary, it says, um, then the old and foolish king who will no more be admonished. All right, just an old bottle, man. All right, uh, uh, just 11, uh, a fully 11th cake, man. All right, an uh, old king, yes, you have power, yes, you have authority, yes, you have a seat at the table, but you're old, you're on your way out, man. You, you can't be admonished, so you can't be. You can't be revigorated. You can't be transformed. You can't grow. Because if you can't be admonished, you're not able to grow. You're not able to correct yourself. I got it in the Hebrew. Come. In the Hebrew, admonish, Zahar. Mm -hmm. All right, it says to warn, teach, right. shine, send out light. Mmm. Woo! <laughs> it says to warn, teach, shine. To put out light. Did not Mashiach Yahweh say, I am the light of the world? He is the admonishment of the world. Okay? He is the, the uh, as it is written, the Zahar of the world, man. To shine. Alright? Does the scripture not say, Wisdom make of a, a man's face to shine? Alright? That admonishment is an uh, essence, it, it stems from wisdom. True, righteous admonishment. All right, but if you are not able to take admonishment, and that's what we see so often these days, yeah, man. Yeah. Individuals are, are lack, uh, as they say, testicular fortitude to take admonishment. The the character is depleted. It's not what the, what they say is. It, it's not what they talk about it as. Why? Because when you're put through that fire, you don't come out as gold. All right. We all gonna be rebuked. We're all gonna be tested. Alright? It's how you how you react and how you activate your spirit from that admonishment. From that um from that uh that rebuke, man. Yeah. You guys are not Con, it's, it's all about how the spirit react. Cause that's what's gonna happen when we out there uh utilizing our faith, whatever state we whatever faith we have stored up at that time. You know, we're going to have to utilize whatever we have. Just like right now, we're utilizing whatever talents we have, you know, with the faith and works. You know, we're going we to have to be able to react, but you're going to have to also be able to be uh, proactive as well. 
And that's what we're being, that's what we're doing now. We're, we're preparing ourselves, making ourselves ready, making ourselves have that willing mind. While we have the opportunity. While we have the opportunity. Yeah, because yeah. it's gonna come a time when, when this opportunity will not be um, applicable. It will not be possible. Yeah. All right. The um, during the family of the word, the word will not be re readily accessible, man. You will not be able to ask the apostles questions and they answer. You, not, you will not be able to ask bishops and deacons. Yeah. Battle try, battle hardened man's yeah. questions. For counsel. For counsel. All right? It, the scripture tells you, uh, uh, with counsel make war. Well, you won't have, you won't have those commodities at your, at your, at your hand. All right? At, at your, um, they won't be accessible to you because you did not labor in your youth. You did not honor and cherish the opportunity. You were not grateful in the grace. All right? The, the scriptures tells you in, um, Bible, sorry, could you get that in the Apocrypha? It says when they had taken liberty. You know what I'm saying? See, in the, in the opportunity, this, this precious, this precious time that we've been allotted to labor, to love, to endeavor, to repent, to incorporate the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua throughout the earth, man. It is not written that he is the light. We're supposed to be letting our light shine, not by wearing fringes, but every day, but it, but activating the, the, the laws and exercising those laws that those fringes were supposed to have you um, remember, man. The scripture says, wear fringes at the border of your garments throughout your generations. Why? For you to remember to do and keep the commandments. They they want to wear fringes, but they're corrupting the Sabbath day. They want to wear fringes, but they don't have brotherly love. They want to wear fringes, but they're adulterers and adulterers and hypocrites and vile beasts, evil eyes. I got it. Go ahead. This is second Ezra's chapter 8 verse 56 for when they had taken liberty mm -hmm. they despised the most high thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways right when they had taken liberty when they had the opportunity when the lord gave them this grace period when he gave them a, a allotted period to repent to grow to to increase yeah see they they used the time for uh they they, they viewed it as vain yeah. Therefore, their, their results are vain. Their, their results are empty. And in the time of their visit, visitation, woe unto thee! For who shall defend thee? You go ahead. You yeah, I got something. Some. Yeah. This is, uh, I'm going to preach up. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Give glory to you, how about Shemiah Osha, your power before he calls of darkness. Yeah. And before your feet stumble upon dark mountains. Right. While you look for light, he turn into a shadow of death and make it gross darkness. So yeah, you, hey, do what you got, do what need, do what you got to do, do what's necessary for the spirit before it's too late. You know, you know, take advantage of this grace period before it, hey, it's about to, it's about to get cut off in a minute, man. Right. You know, the spirit is strong. The spirit, you know, the, hey, that straight gate is tight. That straight gate ain't no joke. You know, things gonna get gonna get uh start to get tight tighten up, man. Mm -hmm. So we got to give glory to you. How about you outside by action? You know, not just by saying it, not just by uh. Just lollygagging through the routine. Oh, I did my three video. Went out to camp. You know, right. I'm good. I'm gonna make it. No, bro, you gotta have the qualities and characteristics. You gotta push. You, yeah, gotta, you gotta push. You want you want to do more than what's expected. Mm -hmm. You want to do more than what's required. Oh. We don't want to be C students. We want to be A students, man. All right. We want to be E students, man. We want to be excellent. We want to be of the elect. Okay. All right. That's the thing, man. Hey. Yahweh Shah wants those who are hungry, those who, who, who reach for the breast and seek the sincere milk, man. And don't and don't stop uh, crying and sighing until they're fed, until the mother nourishes them, man. That's the type of spirit we gotta have in these last days, all right? Because we're coming to a time the apostles are put, pushing the spirit of rebuke, of, 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 of stern, um, of stern order, house cleaning. This should be a time for you to self-reflect and, and make yourself a better person, a better prophet. 
me and Shamat were just talking in the car on the way back to the house. This is the this is the, the finest hour. This is the hour of all hours that we are so graciously living in. That we have the opportunity to be rulers of a universe in this allotted time. Based upon based upon our perform performance. Yeah. <laughs> why why not grasp and seize the moment? Because yeah. every second counts, sure. every day counts, every day matters. You know, every decision you make. It doesn't just reflect you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just affect you. Yeah. You know, it affects the body, and it affects the body. Absolutely. You know, the pros and cons of whatever you, whatever decision you make. You know, it could be a it could be a detriment to the body, or it could be a faith booster. Yeah. You know, so but you you were in control. You know, so right why why you had a time? You know, we had an opportunity. We we are really in the best position to see this thing, that, and that's that's what makes you cherish this thing even more. You about to see this thing unfold before your very mm -hmm. eyes. You know, we understand that prophets be prophets are back now today. You know that that we are reading that we are reading the visions of, but they they wanted to see this day. You know, they want they wanted to see this day, man. They was they were right. sending out these visions, those prayers. Come on, you go. They were saying, bro, we're we're here now. You mm -hmm. know, we almost there. Talk. Uh, you know. I got um. Let me see. No, you go ahead. You go no, ahead. you got it. Yeah, you got it. Right. Okay. Um. See, I have a precept and um, it's in Baru. I'm gonna just grab it out of here for time's sake. Um, this is Baru chapter 3, verse 4. It says, O Lord Almighty, thou God of Israel, power of Israel, judge of Israel. He's our power. Huh? Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is his name. He's giving us this name. We're just talking about having the meal. All right, what was that? And um, can you grab that, Baba Kasha? Uh, what we were speaking of, of the wine and the corn. Uh, what was that? that was Zechariah nine sixteen. Come, come, grab that, Baba Kasha. All right, the Lord has provided us with a sufficient meal. Okay, and in this, in this meal, and at this feast, He's given us, He's given us wisdom. He's given us knowledge, understanding. He's given us patience, diligence. He's, you know, and guess what? The, guess what the, the meat of the meal is the, the the main course the main dish it's his name yep. all right the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha by Shem Kadash that's the name we're gonna have to call on these last days to be delivered in the time of Jacob's trouble that is fastly approaching the concentration camps the RFID chip it's all about the commits and we're gonna need that name to be to to to, to overcome. Yeah, I got you. This is Zechariah chapter nine, verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, their power shall save them in that day right. as the flock of his people. Wow! For they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign. Glorious. Of the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land. Upon his land. For how great is his goodness? Right." And how great is his beauty. Yep. Corn shall make the young men cheerful. Right. And new wine the maid. So corn shall make the, the young man. And this is twofold. It's talking about physically when we go back to the kingdom, when we have our, 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 our vineyards and our corn and our, our corn fields, which non GMO, you know, good as a whole. Just <laughs> replenishing the hell out of us. <laughs> Delicious. Magnificent. All right. And that's going to make the maids and the young man cheerful. But likewise, it's going into the truth, okay? It's going into to wisdom and understanding, this doctrine, all right? It's, it's, not, um, um, it's not wine, wine compared to wisdom, mm -hmm. all right? Corn, okay, truth, all right? The, the bread, Yahweh Shah said, I am the bread of life, yep. all right? But I'm going to finish this up in Brook 3 and 4 real quick. It says, O Lord Almighty, thou God of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites. All right? Okay? When you read through the book of Psalms over and over, if you, if you, if you want to grab one, when King David always prayed for us, man. King Masha always prayed for us, man. All right? And that's what half of the damn book of Psalms is about. It's about King David praying in supplication for the Israelites. For the Lord's people, 
For Lord, they have mercy. He said, redeem, oh Lord, redeem Jacob. Save Israel. Okay? And guess what? King Masha, he sleep right now, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, he will be one of the chief captains of the host of the nation Israel to lead us into victory, man. Yep. In these in these coming days. In these coming days. In these man. coming days, in these final hours, man. Yeah. Yes, we will be led by King David in the flesh. Through the spirit. It's triumphing over, over the wicked and over our enemies, man. Yep. It's only right for order's sake, man. Right. Isn't this the tabernacle of David? Absolutely. You know? Do we not do we not confess that with our mouth? Absolutely. You know? Every word we speak, man, you gotta analyze it. Everything you speak, man. You have to believe it, man. You know, and it's good to speak it because you you gotta you wanna declare it. It's the same way we prophesy these the downfall of these kingdoms. We believe it, don't we? So we gotta declare it. Right. So why so it's good when you speak it, man. It, that gives you that uh that reminder, man, in right. your mind. Right. So when oh, that so, cause when that day comes, you're gonna be able to you like, man, I was talking all that, bro. You know, we're gonna see what all that talk is about. Absolutely. You know, when you when you put put in that moment, whatever whatever lot or whatever case it may be, whether you with a brother or not, cause you don't know. <laughs> you don't know that, man. You don't, I don't care if you with a camp of seventy, man. You may be by yourself. You know, hey, but that's a heavy lot. You know, that's on that that probably will show that you're a strong spirit. You know. Hey, quick preacher. Come. This is um Psalm chapter ninety one, verse eight through ten. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. We're going to see it with our own physical eyes, man. <laughs> All right? It says, because thou hast made Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. All right? We've made it, and what you were just going to declare and over and over, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that word habitation goes to inhabit or, or habitat or habit. Okay? It's a habit for us to say the Lord's name. It's yeah. a habit for us to prophesy and, yeah. and, and continue to uh, preach the sound doctrine. Yeah. These things are habit. That's how you we inhabit it. Comes. So I get, no, you got that. So that's how you know it's the spirit, bro, because it just comes natural. You don't have to. We don't have to second guess or be or be hesitant about it. You yeah. just let it roll, man. Sometimes, sometimes you do a video. Sometimes you're gonna have start with a couple scriptures. Just it's gonna it's just gonna ride, bro. Because the spirit, man, is is dwelling with the, within us, man, and it's being it's gonna be revealed in us as well through the grace and mercy how about you, was shot. And that's how he gonna get glory through us. Mm -hmm. That's how the that's how the heathen and two thirds gonna know. Oh yeah, that's the power of Yahweh about shot. That's that's what they was that's what they was prophesying. Yep. that's it right there. That's it. They gonna know. They gonna know. They know it right now. Yeah. You know, where all that mocking that the Edomites used to do back in the day, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. They don't do that. They just walk by now. Yeah. <laughs> put that, they put their head yeah. down and just keep it moving, bro. Yeah. That's right. That show you that Esau, Esau knows, man. A lot of these Edomites you be working with and you just see walk, they know that you're the Israelites. Now, they watch you too. Mm -hmm. The Israelite is a big things popping yeah. thing on the net. Damn near every, if you don't know about the Israelites now, you have to be uh, yeah. of the chief degenerates. Just an idiot, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're a lottery draft pick. It's a that fucking lottery. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lottery draft pick. Not your first man. round no more, man. Like, come on. Like, this thing, this thing is is in all four corners of the mm -hmm. earth, as uh, as uh, uh, Chief Apostle Tahar said, man. Right. This thing is everywhere. We, it, it, we're in every country, man. Yeah. We're in every province. We're speaking damn near every language, mm -hmm. man. All right? The, bro the brothers are, are, are diligent throughout the earth, and that's the elect, man. Yep. Lord willing, we be of that number. Exactly. And, it, and it, I know those words may sound sweet to the ear, but guess what, man? When the world when the world finds us out, because we're 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 enemies to this world, mm -hmm. so that's more pressure on us yeah. to move wise as a serpent, to be circumspect, to be to be diligent, active, right. you know, in the spirit. Absolutely. You know, that's more pressure. We got the, the hey the more the more this thing gets closer, the more pressure it, it comes on us. Mm -hmm. As we brought up earlier with the order, get get tighter and tighter because this thing is getting closer and closer. It's getting the crunch time. It's time for the clutch shots at this moment. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And y'all know you brought up the wicked too. You know, I'm gonna get this preacher real quick because we don't we don't even wear ourselves out worried about the wicked. Okay? This is second Ezra chapter nine, verse thirteen. It says, Therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, but when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Mm. 
So it, hey, it's all it's all about like I just say it's all about the elect, man. That's we not out there, man. We not we don't benefit off um going going on Esau. Even though we gonna condemn Esau, cause we gotta get on their judgment as well. Right. But we not too worried about that. We worried about us, man. Yeah. That's what it's all about. We we going to the word edif edification goes to building up of a soul. Yep. That's what we looking to do. Build up does. of a soul. Sometimes that goes through rebuke, cause you gonna get correction. It builds you up, man. It, it makes you it makes you better. You know, it makes you uh, exemplify those qualities even better. It pushes you, motivates you, tries you, yep. tests. That's what tests are for. You know? And, um, and that word test goes into, um, like the root essence of testicles. Okay? Going back to, of course, you, you know, your balls, man. All right? Can you, can you uh, get the job done? All right? And, um, yeah. Gorilla like, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Uh, uh, are we not at the seat of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? <laughs> okay. That that same blood, that same spirit, those same mighty valiant ancestors, the Hasmonean dynasty, the tabernacle of David, David and his host, right. Solomon and his host, One Paul, person. Peter, oh. Daniel and the fellows, same bloodline, same character, same attitude, same spirit, same essence, same victory, man. But you gotta believe it. So you know, just you know, a lot of niggas are Israelites, but they don't walk in, they don't, they don't walk as Daniel walk. They don't talk how Paul spoke. They don't have faith as Abraham had faith. It's a difference. It's not about the flesh. It's about the spirit. Mm -hmm. It's our thought pro thought process. It's how we maintain ourselves. It's having no fear, but yes, yet being wise. Because, I mean, you you can be you can not fear something, but at the same time be wise. The scripture says, uh, uh, "A prudent man see of evil and, and, and hide of himself." Mm. But but the foolish is is, is caught thereof, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. But um, it's like you have, you you have something. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna um. Like this is a uh, Peter. All the way in, all the way in Revelation it might be something that I need to get. But now this is a uh, First Peter's chapter two, verse one. It says. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, laying aside, put it to the side, all malice, in all guilt, in all hypocrisies, mm. in envies, in evil speaking, as newborn babes, hey, yeah. desire, and you can break it down if you Come want to, uh, desire the sincere milk of the word. That ye may grow thereby. Yeah, that's it. Because what do we? What is the title of this lesson, man? Honor thy youth. You want to get? You want to do these things? Why? 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 Is it, why are you young in the truth? Early in the truth? You know why you can before what, man? It's, it's those evil spirits grow upon you, bro. You know it may. You may see you. You may come off as, oh yeah, that's a humble brother. But those spirits, man, hiding themselves, man, because they getting stronger and stronger. Because you didn't get rid of them through right. praying and fasting. Yeah. You it. know. There's this spiritual maintenance because you you didn't do it in your youth. So now when you you at that uh, older man, that grown man, you probably you know get 12 years in the truth. The pride starts coming, you know, because you didn't get it you didn't get it off back then because it don't grew on you, you know. And, you, and as a babe, you wanna you wanna stand on that milk. Always the milk is gonna get us through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the milk is gonna get us through. Love it. Hey, you can call all these priests up. Let me get it. Hold on, slide you. This First Corinthians chapter 13 verse two. It says, and thou, I have the gift of prophecy yep. and understand all mysteries right. and all knowledge. And thou, I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity. I am nothing, you know? So as a babe, bro, you, you got to have the, you got to have the things that you, that another man may see as, as, as little, you know, they may, may seem as light work, man, the charity, the love, it be the little things that count because the brother's always watching, the brother's always observing. You only have to say nothing, man. Mm -hmm. We're we around spiritual men. Yeah. You know, you can discern spirits. You can. You personally can discern spirits, and you know it. 
You like, man, something was off about it. Could be somebody that don't even not even in the truth, man. You know, you like, man, something was off, but I just had to separate myself. Yeah. You know, because you got that ability and that talent to discern spirits. Yeah, you have that um uh, that understanding. You know, yeah, that, you know, going it, to the, the the Hebrew by your nine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's by your nine, and you can, and you can this, be Shammai. Right, yeah. by your nine, I mean, understanding and discernment. Okay. You have to, you have to have spiritual discernment. If you don't have spiritual discernment, you're not going to make it. Yeah, and you're yeah. going to fall into the tears and the, the traps of the wicked, of Satan. Mm -hmm. That's why we pray to Yahweh by Shemayasha for spiritual discernment, mm -hmm. for wisdom. Yep. For, for likewise for wisdom. For you know, okay, because this thing of ours is spiritual, man. We talking, you know, all this. You saying all this now. But if we don't apply what we're saying, it, is, it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. It's about what we, what we, it's about applying what we know. All right? Let me see. You have something or not? No, I have not. Some, some, should I like it? This is Psalms chapter 25. Verse 9, and it reads, it says, The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Right, the meek of the what? The lowly, the yeah. humble. Yeah. That's who the Lord, Yahweh Bashim is going to guide in judgment. All right? Uh, verse 10, it says, In the paths of Yahweh are mercy and truth. Unto such as keep his covenant yep. and his testimonies. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's honoring your youth, man. Keeping the covenant, the testimonies that Yahweh Bashim Yahashah has made with us and our forefathers. You know? And and that was made in the in our youth as a nation. Mm -hmm. When we were in our youth, in our, our younger, our younger years, the, the younger generations. That's when the covenant was made. That's when we were given the testimony. Yeah. That way we can be sustained in the days of, in, right now, man. Yeah. So we can be sustained right now. Yeah. All right? Yeah, we in those lighter days, man. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And um, let me see. I'm going to spit one out real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12. Yeah, I was going. Oh, no, you got it. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, mm. while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. Remember the, the creator while you in the days of youth. It's also going to when you have youthful opportunities. Like, for instance, from a physical perspective, when we're in our youth, we're able to run, we're able to work, we're able yeah. to have sex and have children. But when you get older, you're not able to run. Possibly, you get 80, 90 years old, you can't run. You know, you you know, you can't, you can't, you can't get a hard one. You can't have children. Okay, you can't bear fruit. Okay, so that's why the scripture says, "Remember the Creator in the days of thy youth." From a spiritual perspective. When we're bathed, when we're humble, okay? When we have when we have opportunity to do the work, to till the earth, that's when we need to exercise, get the job done. Alright? You can keep reading that you like it. take a part. No, it says, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. Because it'll come a time where if you don't do the work when you in, in your youth, then you're not gonna wanna do the work when you old. You're gonna get you're gonna become sluggish. You know what I'm saying? You're going to become sluggish. Matter of fact, pull Proverbs 13 and 4. Baba Gashah. Uh, drop that. Uh, Proverbs 13, 13 and 4. 4. That's all I got. Yeah, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. Mm -hmm. The soul of the sluggard desire and have nothing. Right. The soul of the sluggard desire and have nothing. And the sluggard is also a characteristic of an elder, meaning like somebody who's up in age. 
They desire it and have nothing because they can't obtain it because they can't do the work to maintain it. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. She'll bear fruit. All right? She'll prosper because they're diligent. Because in, in the book of Peter, it tells you, you know, certain characteristics we have to exemplify in the, in the essence of diligence yeah. that so we will never fall. Yeah. So we will maintain everlasting life. All right, you know, that's why you say, give diligence, brother, to make thy calling and thy election uh -huh. sure. Uh -huh. For if you do these things, you never fall. Yep. Yep. And you know, also, also in our youth, man, that's when we mostly all got the truth. Yeah. You know, because what the scripture Ecclesiastes chapter twelve verse one just say it says, remember now, ain't no time to delay and tarry. You know, because the hey, Lord coming deep in the night. Ain't no time to play no a hey, value value every. Aspect fellowship going to camp, you know, not be like, man, it's gonna be the next week. Hey, cuz it ain't nah, it don't, it don't, it don't move like that, man. The spirit don't move like that, man. It's, it's quick and powerful, just like the word, you know. I wanted to get a uh, youth in the etymology dictionary, okay. In the old English, it goes to being it says young people, junior warriors. Mm -hmm. I mean, are we not fighting the good fight of faith right now? Are we not youthful right now, man? Are we not babes? You know, it says young of cattle. It says, uh, I continue, vital force, youthful vigor. They use the word youthful, but yeah. it says uh, ability. So yeah, back going, going to that, using your ability while you can. Basically, it's like being in your prime, basically. That you know, word, take advantage. That word youth also, when you go into the Hebrew, it, um, sorry, when you go to the Hebrew, that word youth, for instance, in Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, the word youth is a uh, bacharium, bacharium, which means as I, we're going to youth. But it also, when you go to the root word of it, it's um, uh, bachawar, which means youth, young man, which also comes from um, bachayar, which means chosen. chosen. All right? They're like the lit. You know, that's what some brothers say, um, Shalom Bachayarium. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, yeah, uh, Shalom Yerkao yeah, Bachayarium. Yep. Hopefully. Quam yeah. uh, 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 Bachayarium. Quam uh, Bachayarium. Yeah, you see? Because the, the youth is also synonymous with the, the chosen. Alright? So if, if he chose you, the scriptures, yeah. you know, if, if, if he called you to do this ministry, yeah. man, you have to do, you have to fulfill the lot. All right, because also with that too, with the youth, because he chose the poor of this world. What's part of being the poor of this world? Being young, you know, people that people that think they're on some status, man, or probably the older people in society. But Yahweh Shmuel chose what? He chose the poor to confound the wise. Yeah, you know, that's part and part of that part of that being poor is being youthful. Scripture says, "I um I thank you, Yahweh Yahweh, for thou has revealed these things unto the babe." Exactly. Exactly. He revealed these things unto the babes. Mm -hmm. You see? And he, he hid them from the wise and prudent. Yep. And that's the wise and prudent is really going to those who are who have quote unquote who are the quote unquote authority of this world, of this society. Yep. See, but these guys don't have the answers, man. Yeah. That show you that you how about me outside. Bad man, he can do miracles, man. Yes. Ain't nobody trying to listen to no sixteen year old teaching the truth, seventeen year old, eighteen year old. All right, all right, he pulled, he pulled one on him there. He got him. He got him, He got man. you. He got you. He gonna see if you truly humble if you listen to this man right here. Yeah. And that's test humility, man. See, get some, receive rebuke from this man. And you know, that, and I get yep. an increase. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely. bad, man. Hey, that's he, our power. Uh, a 35-year-old man not trying to hear a 24-year-old or 22-year-old man rebuke him telling he going off. Like, man. That's real, bro. Because niggas, niggas got pride on him, man. Yup. But that prize is beginning to sin, man. Yeah. You know, it's not good, but it wasn't even made for man. Yeah. You know? But yeah, that's all I had. Yeah, that's all I had. Yeah, yeah. so, um, well, was this uh, video was an exhortation, uh, admonishment, likewise, the edification to you sincere acting uh, that are scattered abroad, likewise, in Babylon's great. Uh, we would like to give all praises, honor, glory, as well as worship to 
Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Uchakadash. The brothers to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Aki. Shalom, keep the faith, and we'll walk the ball. We'll walk the ball. Shalom. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ.